Hello and welcome back to genetic series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. In today's video, in very simple term, we will learn what a test cross is and how it is important to understand the genetics of a trait. Some traits or characters are dominant in nature, for example, tallness and green pot color in a pea plant. A dominant character is expressed in both homozygous and heterozygous state and it masks the recessive character to be expressed. Therefore, it is clear that if a recessive character is being exhibited, it is surely in homozygous form. But to identify a dominant trait which is expressed in both homozygous as well as heterozygous condition, it is not that easy. Externally, the phenotype will be the same but its genotype may be different. A simple way to figure out whether the dominant trait or character of interest is a homozygous dominant or heterozygous dominant is by performing a breeding analysis called as test cross. A test cross is a cross between an individual whose genotype is not known with an individual known to have homozygous recessive genotype. To make it even easier consider an example of pea plant height. Here tallness is a dominant trait which will be expressed in both homozygous or capital T capital T and heterozygous or capital T small t condition while dwarf phenotype will only be expressed when both the alleles are in homozygous recessive state or small t small t condition. Now if the unknown individual is showing dwarf phenotype it is clear that both the alleles are in homozygous recessive state as heterozygous individual capital T small t will not show dwarf phenotype. On the other hand if the unknown individual is showing tall phenotype here we cannot simply predict its genotype. To confirm if it is in homozygous or heterozygous state, we cross it with a homozygous recessive genotype small t small t. After crossing, if you get all the individuals showing tall character, it means the unknown individual was homozygous dominant or capital T capital T. But after crossing, if you get some of the dwarf individual along with the tall ones, it means the unknown individual was in heterozygous state or capital T small t. This way using test cross you are able to determine if the unknown individual is in homozygous or heterozygous state for a particular dominant trait or character. To learn more about different topics of genetics, markers, plant tissue culture, research, publishing, techniques, bioinformatics, do check out my playlist on them. Subscribe to get informed about my latest uploads. Thanks and see you in my next video.